Uh, when you're in positions of, of privileged access, like a, a systems administrator for these sort of intelligence community agencies, you're exposed to a lot more information on a broader scale than the average employee. And because of that, you see things that uh, may be disturbing, but uh, over the course of a normal person's career, you'd only see one or two of these instances. Uh, when you see everything, you see them on a more frequent basis. And you recognize that some of these things are actually abuses. And when you talk to people about them uh, in a place like this, where this is the, the normal state of business, people tend not to take them very seriously and you know move on from them. But over time, that awareness of wrongdoing sort of builds up, and you feel compelled to talk about it. And the more you talk about it, the more you're ignored, the more you're told it's not a problem. Until eventually you realize that uh, these things need to be determined by the public, not by somebody who was simply hired by the government. I could be, you know, rendered by the CIA. I, I could have uh, people come after me or any of their, their third-party partners. Uh, you know, they, they work closely with a number of other nations. Uh, or, you know, they, they could pay off the triads or, you know, any, any of their agents or assets. Uh, we've, we've got a CIA station just up the road in the, the, the consulate here in Hong Kong. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to be uh, very busy for the next week. Um, and that's, that's a, a fear I'll live under for the rest of my life, however long that happens to be.